Ranger Cookie, it's time to go through this bag. It's too heavy. Something's in here don't need. So me and you, it's gonna go through it. Put you over here where it's more shady. You can get that glare right your eyeball. Yes, I do. Let me get you close. There you go. All right. If I'm a number of folks, when I'm uh, camping at a park like this, I bring these two sticks. If I'm hiking into the woods, I carry this. This and that acts as the same thing as the tea. And I want to show you how to use that in a few seconds. Alright, let's go through this bag. Alright, I got this mat. I put this on the ground so I can step on and I won't get my feet dirty when I put my feet in my hammock. So this is like a, 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 a must or... I don't have to have this, but it helps when I'm in this dirt. Look at this dirt. Nothing but dirt. And it keeps dirt out my hammock so when you sleep... Hey, come up here, son. When you sleep, you don't have dirt in your feet, uh, all over your back. Trust me, sleeping with sand in your, when you're in your hammock is not a fun thing. Alright, uh, I know I got my zero... Um, uh, sleeping bag in a car. Let's go through the stuff. Okay. This weighs a ton. This is probably where the weight is. I think this is where my weight is. Right here. This is my cover over, over my hammock. You see how I use that layer. This. This is my over and over, over and under quilt. It's gonna be cold. I'm gonna bring this. I bring like three or four big blankets. I like to be warm, not cold, when you're sleeping. So this is my over and under quilt. It's uh, what you call that army issue uh, blanket, whatever. See? Yeah. All right, let's get rid of the precious. Even though this is part of my my precious. Now, the bottom's completely empty. Here, I have mosquito stuff. Oh, there it is. All my, hey, what are you You're supposed to be looking at me? Damn you. All right, here's my pest control. I have two bags. And some, uh, I don't want to take that out because I don't need it. So let's cover that. Let's uh, clamp that back. Because we don't need that out. This is my pest control bag. There's two sides. On the other side is my pest control. Uh, you know what y'all see in this? This thing works good. And it, it don't weigh much. Then over here, I got vitamin B1. That's supposed to uh, get the mosquitoes off of you when you use vitamin B1. It works. Try it. All right, so that's a, that's a must. That must be mosquito control is a must because there is deadly virus. Deadly viruses out there that us humans will die from mosquito bite. All right, let's go. Let's open the top. Okay, this is kind of cool. You know what this is? This is the bush chair. I had the bush chair for grabs about a year ago almost, and Tom won, but he chose the box. So this is like a must, and it hey that way must. I, I think it's the blankets. Let's see, let's pick this up. I know this thing's too heavy as hell. What the hell I got in here that I don't need? All right, the Molly side. This is usually where my food goes. Ah, I got this ready for winter. 
Y'all know the chamois are, right? Well, I got a camouflage chamois. That's a, this is the best item I've ever seen, the chamois. I can come out here dressing the chamois, and I don't get cold. All right, what else? I got a bag. This is for my tent spikes that I need to get to when I get to them. I got the Tomo pillow. Tom made this. Thank you, Tom. And I'm going to use it tonight. Kind of funny. Uh -huh. There we go. Bam. This is not a must. This is a comfort. But don't weigh much. So, all right, this pouch is empty. All right, let's turn it around and take a look at the other pouch. All right, we got compass and a little light from my bag. What's in this that we don't need? Okay, I got hockey socks. Hockey socks. It's basically, uh, when I'm ready to go to bed, I put these on, be more comfortable than wearing combat boots that I usually wear. I do wear those combat boots when I go hiking, definitely in the woods. And I put it around a bag so I won't get my stuff dirty. Y'all seen this bag before. Okay. Now I got the Stanley set, and I got my backup apple cider. Watch out, bear! Oh yeah! If you don't drink them, send them to me. I'll take them. And I got the uh, apple cider with two lids, so I can cook a meal or drink. Everybody loves the Stanley set. That's my cook kit, basically. I can cook food with, heat up water. All right, I got two bush chairs. I have my original bush chair and I have the new improved, made by Tom. Thank you, Tom, once again, another uh, thing I asked you to make for me. Check out Tom Clintwood. He makes all kinds of stuff. Watch his videos if you wanna learn how to sew. Watch his videos. It might be boring to you, but it wasn't boring to me. A lot of people like them. Like them videos. All right, what else is in this? Ah, here's my striker. I thought I left it. Everybody need a fair Steve Roddy. Anybody knows why it makes these ripples? Does y'all do that too, or I'm just striking it wrong? Let me know below. I, I'd just like to know if y'all got these little ripples. See the ripples? How can you get them out and why is doing that? <clears throat> oh well. I'll use another side if I can level this up. All right, there's that. Now, what's in here is easy. That's my clothes. I'm not gonna open it up because I already know what's in there and a couple lighters and some uh, mite of dust. All right, the last bag. Whoops, sorry, one more. I got a roll of duct tape, a waterproof, all natural, uh, waterproof notebook, which I've never used, and a pencil I've never used. This is an item I don't use. Raincoat. When you're out in the middle of nowhere and it starts to rain, you need one of these. It's right there in front. I can grab it. It's quick and easy. Raincoat's in the blue pouch. That's it for that. Now, the cook kit. I feel something very heavy in this thing. Let's find out what it is. All right, I got gas for my stove. I got an extra cut knife. My utensils. An oven mitt. Two little gloves. Aluminum foil. Two types. I went camping one time, caught some fish. Okay, let's cook it. I'm like, uh, uh, I had to boil it. And boiling it sucks. Um, I got a sharpener for my knives. Salt and pepper for those untasty foods. And some wet ones. You can wipe your, you know, air with. 
All right, let's put this back. I'm not using it at this time. Oh, uh, pot and my stove and some oil. Now this is where I think I have extra stuff in this thing. Softball Bushcraft gave me as this as a gift. I love it. Because the reason why I love it, it's tough. It's heavy duty. Then if I want to do some fracking, if I'm not saying that right, you know where you chip off pieces of rock to make flint, I got this damn freaking... You probably die before I get it off. See, I can use this to flint. To make arrow points out of it. That's the next video I'll be making some weird stuff. And this pouch is pretty heavy. She gave me all kinds of goodies. I had some goodies too. I was I remember when I was doing one of my uh, combustion videos, and I asked for one of these. It's a sponge. Oh, yeah, it's a sponge that you light and you start your killing and you put this out for later on use thank you soft paul wonderful gift you see i'm using it like i said i don't give away if you give me a gift it's is a treasure because you gave it to me regardless who you are what you are uh oh yeah and jason mcdillon gave me this as a little gift and two spoons i have that in one of my bags somewhere oh it's on my vest and I got some, some birch bark. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I got some birch bark that she put in there. Uh, I'm trying to remember if that was you, South Paul, or Jason. And I got the little fire things that you say would take 15 minutes to burn out. So that's a cool gift from Soft Paul Bushcrafters. Thank you. Like I said, I cherish, cherish gifts like no other. All right, this is my pouch for my rope. This is all my rope for all my gear. If I want to hang something up, I have all the rope here. 15 feet, 15 feet, 15 feet, uh, 50 feet. 15 feet, 15 feet. Now I have four, I'm sorry, five, 15 feet of rope. This is for my tarp. If I have to string a tarp a mile away, I have 15 feet to do it with. This goes with the T. I'm gonna show you how I'm putting everything up, but right now I'm just going through my, my Molly 2 to find out why I got it so heavy. So this and this belongs together as a set. It's called the T. I'm going to show you how that works. For my new subscribers, if you didn't go watch my old stuff, you can watch my new stuff. And I got two, I got a little bag here. This is a laundry uh, kit. I try to keep all my rope together. And see these? These are your clothes clips. These are bread clips that you found on bread wraps. That's my clothes clips. If you want to show you how to do, uh, use them, let me know below in a comment. I'm going to put that back because I'm not going to use this. And I think I got another little rope on the other side just in case I need that extra, 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 extra rope that I don't have. Nope, pair of gloves. In case I lose my gloves, I have another pair of gloves to work with because my hands get dried. See, they're getting dried now. Real dry. And they'll crack and will bleed. So I have to bring moisturizer and all kinds of stuff. All right. I have a little hammock to put my gear in to hang it off the, get it off the ground. It comes with a little rope, I think. That's probably what's this extra rope for. Ah, I think this is too heavy, and I just need to get rid of one or two. This is my flashlight bag. I'm not gonna get rid of this baby. I should get rid No, no, I broke it. Oh, no, I No, it's heavy duty. 
It's not going to break that easy. I got my radio. That's a comfort. You got to have that. I have extra batteries for radio and lights. I have a rechargeable light. Yeah, that's why. I had all kinds of new crap in here. Well, I broke my fan. That suck. It was only a dollar, but I broke it. Damn you, boy. And another chargeable flashlight. I think um, I'm gonna go through this light system and see if I need I can get rid of a light or two. Because I got too many lights. You only need two, but it's good to have backup. Depends on where you're going too. If you go on a real hiking, it's going to be like five day hike, and you know your lights only last three days. Ah. This bag is Tartar Tree medicine for headaches, whatever, uh, soap, deodorant. I don't have to go through all that. This is my hammock. I mean, no, I'm sorry, tarp. And this is where that little bag comes in. Where are you, little baggie? Damn you, boy. I don't know where to put it all. I gotta clean this damn table. Ah, there it is. I'm gonna put that together. This is the next task I'm gonna do is put everything up. All right, that's together. It's so dusty over here. All right, my hammock. You know, how to, uh, you have to open that up. Uh, Prophecy tarp. It's not that heavy. Y'all people call it bank line. I call it catfish line. So I gotta roll the catfish line. Just in case I need a quick, a very quick shelter, I have these little um, cable ties. Two bags, uh, 30 in each. Just in case I want to hurry up and get stuff up, I can use the cable, uh, this tape ties. Now, this little thing, it's heavy duty, and you can collect wood, put it in this bag, 